out and I don't know, somehow I'll just stall kind of. Hello everyone, this is Rhonda. Welcome back to my channel, Barbells and Beauty. And today I am going to be filming a review of this, the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation Fluid. Uh, let me grab my phone here. I'll read just a few things from it. Uh, revolutionary medium to full coverage skin care foundation fluid powered by 100% pure argan oil and nutrient rich pigments for vibrant glowing skin. Sounds pretty good. Uh, what is it formulated to do? Activate your skin's vitality with vibrancy argan oil fluid foundation fluid. Blah, try saying that three times real fast. Like a fresh squeezed juice, vibrancy utilizes a revolutionary cold press process that preserves the powerful hand selected ingredients for the freshest most effective skincare foundation uh, it goes on and on and on and on basically this is a foundation that uses argan oil which of course is Josie Marin's thing is she puts argan oil in pretty much everything that she does which is hey great good for her um, I'm going to give it a try. I've actually worn this once to work um, and I kind of liked it so I'm actually going to give it a, a full on review. This comes in, hold on, I believe it's 13 different shades and of course I got the lightest shade that I could find, Dynamic RG5. I think it was around $36 for a fluid ounce. I will double check on that because, of course, I shut my phone down and lost all my information because I'm not particularly thinking well today. I'm going to adjust the lens here a little bit and I'm going to give it a shake. We'll give it a try. And as you can see, I am dressed for full on winter. We've literally gone in like 48 hours from 70s to it was spitting snow yesterday. So. Winter is coming, apparently, to quote my Game of Thrones friends. Give it a little pump here. That's what it looks like. I forgot to bring a makeup brush up here, so I'm just going to put it on with my sponge. Oh, hold on. I best be priming my face here. I'm going to prime it with the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer. I haven't got that done yet. Thankfully, my foundation is not running all over my hand. I've got a lot of things on my mind. We're going Christmas shopping today. Because I have family members that think they need Christmas presents, particularly my children. So, okay. Okay, I got that done. I'm just going to get a little of this. Got my handy dandy little mirror here. Dot some on. I've still got a little left over. And then I'm just going to start blending. I'm going to pick my mirror up because, yeah. Oh, I got some in my hair, figures. I get just a little bit more. Yeah, it's blending out very well. I would say it is definitely more of a medium coverage. Got a little bit of a zit right here. I think you all ladies will all know why I have a little bit of a zit right there. I'm feeling as bloated as an old cow. It's doing a pretty good job of covering up. I have some broken capillaries kind of here in this area. It's doing a pretty good job of covering them. Did a pretty good job of covering my little friend. That I don't want anybody to say hello to. I want them to ignore the fact that I even have a little friend. I would say this is definitely a little creamier. This would be great for you dry ladies. But I have found that for me, with my 
a little bit oily skin. If I really hydrate, hydrate, and I do use oils, I use argan oil, I use um, the Sunday Riley oils, it actually makes my oil better when I put oil on my face. It makes my face not put oil out quite so much. So let me just do a little bit more blending here and bring it down. It is somewhat buildable, but here, I'll give kind of a close-up here. And see how it looks up on my forehead and the creases of my nose, because that's where my foundation always seems to settle. So, I'm going to go put the rest of my makeup on, and I will be back and show you everything I have on, and then I'll do a couple more check-ins. Hey, so the rest of my makeup is on, and we're going to call the check-in time 11 o'clock. Um, I'm thinking it's looking pretty good right now. Let's see. Um... Yes, this is like the first time I've ever actually filmed myself with a winged eyeliner. I'm just kind of getting back into wearing eyeliner again. I went years without ever wearing it. Um, I still need a little bit more practice. I can always get the left eye looking so much better than the right. I don't know why. Oh, smudged my lipstick a little bit. Um, I would say this is definitely a good medium coverage. Um... Maybe if I put a full second layer on, it would be a full coverage. I don't like to wear that much foundation. I just want stuff to cover up my freckles, stuff to cover up the few sunspots that I have, and my broken capillaries. So medium coverage usually does a good amount of job. So um, wish me luck. We're going out into the wilds to do Christmas shopping. <sighs> Yay. Maybe I'll pick myself up a little something. Oh, I also looked up. I was totally wrong on the price of this. It is $45 for one fluid ounce. It is an Allure winner for um, Best of the Best of Beauty. I can't, 2016 I'm thinking. I'm not sure. That's awfully little and I'm not going to wait. The Wi-Fi up here kind of sucks so I'm not going to wait for it to actually show up. So one final zoom in on the foundation. I think it looks pretty good myself. So um, I'll be checking in at least once during my day, probably while we're getting gas somewhere, because I like to sit inside while he pumps the gas. And then I'll do another check-in at home, closer to the time when I'm getting ready to wash this off. So, oh, and uh, thanks for subscribing. Um, if you're new to my channel, just hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Um, and I will check in with you guys Okay, after so a while. I've had this foundation on now for about three and a half hours. It's uh, about 2.30. Um, it's holding up pretty well. That's, I'm in natural light. My husband's filling up at the Costco gas station. It's not really uh, settled in anywhere. It just looks pretty good. Um, nose is just maybe wanting to think about getting a little bit oily, but really it's looking pretty good. Um, partially that's probably because I've literally gone from outside where it's about 36 degrees to inside the mall, which I think they might have had the heat turned on to 90. I'm not sure. <laughs> Felt like it. Anyway, um, makeup's holding up good. I think it looks really good. The coverage is awesome. Uh, boy, someday I will get my winged eyeliner looking better, but not today. So, um, yeah, this foundation, Josie Marin's, is really holding up well. So my next check-in will probably be closer to when I'm going to take it off and do a workout. So see okay, you then. Everybody. Bye. I'm back. It is now, oops, let me get my phone out here. Do, do, do. 9.13. Yeah, still 9.13. And so I've had this foundation on for more than 10 hours now because I had it on just before 11 o'clock this morning. So let's give the final... A verdict on this foundation. Okay, I'm going to kind of zoom in here a little bit. As you can see, it did just do a little hint of settling in these fine lines that I've got up here, but I have not touched this up at all. At all. No oil blotting, no more powder except for what I first set it with. Nothing. I have done nothing to 
this makeup. I've eaten twice with it. I've done a lot of nose rubbing and wiping because I'm starting to get my first winter cold. Yay. And I, I think it's really held up amazingly considering I haven't touched anything up. As you can see, I am really not oily at all. I am becoming a very firm, and I used Argan oil before, like at bedtime. I am becoming a firm believer in putting the oils on in the morning too, because it just seems like when I put some oils on my face in the morning and really highly moisturize my skin, it sets my skin and I don't have nearly the amount of oils coming through at the end of the day that I do at the beginning, or that I do when I don't use the oil. I can't even talk. Um, it does did a little bit of the creasy, you know, wearing off into the crease of my nose. And it does look a little, little funky kind of right in through here. But again, uh, I've eaten twice, so I've wiped my mouth. Uh, you get a little, little bit clumpy right in through here. But otherwise... It held up on my cheeks very well, uh, held up fairly well under my eyes, although I did put some shape tape on. It didn't wear off anywhere except for just a hint around my nose, and I have no doubt in my mind that if I would have, say, oil blotted my nose and maybe repowdered my nose somewhere at the six, seven hour mark, it probably would have held up. So, the re final verdict. For the Josie Marum Vibrancy Foundation is an A plus for me. I will probably be using this a lot during the winter. Um, it felt very moisturizing going on my skin, uh, which of course, you know, yeah, it was 37 degrees out today. That's not that bad. Um, it will have days where 7 degrees is a more realistic high here in Iowa. Um, so furnaces will be running constantly and every little drop of moisture just gets sucked right out of my face. So having a foundation that has a little bit of argon oil mixed in with it already is an A plus for me. It was very easy to blend. Um, I did set it with my Cody Airspun Powder, but really my cheeks felt good. I, I don't think I would have needed to set it with a powder on my cheeks. I mainly just did a mini bake on my nose, my chin, and my forehead where it gets a little oily. It looks amazing after 10 hours. I've worn this at work one time. It looked very good after 13 hours considering I was wearing it at work for 13 hours. It held up fairly well. It did rub off a little bit on my nose at the end of that 13 hour shift, but not too bad considering. So yeah, this is very high contention for me for being my holy grail of foundations up there with um, uh, a couple others that I've got. The Marc Jacobs Remarkable and uh, what was the other one that I did? Oh, I'm having a supreme brain fart. I probably know I'm getting ready to go in for a three-day stretch of work, so... Oh, the, uh... I can't think of it. I'll put a link down to, to it below. I'm just... I can see the bottle in my head, and I just can't even think of it. So, what can you say? I'm 46, and I have Sometimer's disease. Sometimes I can remember, and sometimes I can't. So... Um, I am hoping in the next couple weeks I'm going to be ordering me a new uh, Canon camera. I believe I'm leaning toward a Canon camera. It's gotten very good reviews, so I can't wait to hopefully get some uh, better camera equipment going. So maybe my videos will be a little better quality. I've been playing around with a couple, a couple new um, editing software program so maybe I'll have some better editing and I asked my lovely wonderful beautiful daughters for some new background uh, lighting and a new backdrop so maybe I'll actually look reasonably decent instead of just trying to either use natural lighting which I had absolutely none today because the sun never came out at all all day long or using just whatever lamps I can find drug around the house so I'm hoping the quality of my 
channel improves greatly here in the next six months. Next six weeks, I'm hoping, but we'll see. So with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and take care of yourself. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Bye-bye.